Let's see what happens to your body when you hang every single day. Hanging is a type of physical workout in which the body is suspended from an elevated bar using both hands. And then you just see a kind of sending to Adley doing pull-ups. Doing a pull-up. <laughs> We're about to watch a video that's clearly created by someone on Fiverr. So we're here to debunk this, call the scams out, or maybe agree with the video. Yeah. Even as children, we had all experienced the activity of hanging off bars just for fun. But as we grew older, our priorities changed and we stopped hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every single time we train in a park, there's always children coming up and they want to try out what we're doing. But later on, our priorities change. <laughs> we get lazy. Yeah, and we, we don't play in, in playgrounds anymore. True. A calisthenics park is basically a it, playground for grown-ups. Yeah, that's so. what it is. The benefits of hanging are less than common knowledge. They talk about five minutes every day. It improves grip strength. 100%. 100%. This is the most notable difference, I think. And if you compare day one to day 30, the time that you're able to hang on the bar is gonna be an insane difference. 100%, yeah. A good grip isn't necessary just for holding your phone. A good grip strength is essential for performance, cutting across many other workouts such as pull-ups, rows, deadlifts. I, I agree, yeah, it will help with our exercises, but also just daily activities. Also, some studies have shown that weak grip strength may be a risk factor for decreased mobility later in life. I read it somewhere, actually. Because it, people that have a strong grip may actually be living longer. Is that because there's a correlation between grip strength and how fit you are? Or is that because just grip strength? I think it's the first one. Two, posture correction. This is one of the most important things actually. Doing an insane amount of push-ups or any other exercise will actually just maybe even worsen your posture. But this, hanging is something we as humans, this position, we don't do. But the thing is, people nowadays sit a lot in front of the screen, in front of their desk, doing like Hunched this. Over. Bad posture, rounded shoulders. So hanging actually counters that. Last two years I'm suffering from shoulder pain, but now I regularly do hanging for three minutes every day and now I'm free from the pain. Wow. Before spending money on any elaborate posture correcting procedure, try hanging for five minutes every day. Yes. That's a good tip. Yes, this is a very good tip. You actually have the, the, the suits that are like sort of like bands around your, your body. Exactly, instead of buying these crazy accessories or maybe spending an insane amount of money on your posture. Just try out hanging first. Obviously with a disclaimer, if something hurts or if there's something wrong, please go, go visit, to a doctor, visit physio, the pro. everything. Three, spinal decompression. Most of the activities and movements involved in our modern day lifestyles compress our spine. Hanging every day will decompress, loosen and stretch out the spine. Yeah, it will definitely. Four, shoulder strengthening and injury repair. There exactly, there shoulder, go. yes, it's so good for the shoulders. Been doing this for around 40 years, almost every day. I can hang for over two minutes now. Starting doing this every morning to help put my right shoulder back where it belongs after being in bed all night. This guy is 81. Damn. It starts with a fairly long pop and then a big relief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to hang. And then it's like <laughs> There have been several cases of people recovering from shoulder injuries, aches, and pains by simply performing the hanging exercise. We see a lot of pictures of people holding a bar like this. Just use shoulder width and open up the shoulders. That gives a better stretch. This gives a way better stretch. Yeah. And actually, if you become better at hanging, Try out with one hand. Very uh, controlled. And no unnecessary tension, because if you then start, for example, randomly uh, using your shoulders, this could damage it, but yeah. Um, yeah. Forearm strengthening. is very related to grip strength. Yeah. Most of the upper body workouts are usually focused on the development of the biceps, triceps, and chest muscles. So, while the forearms are, very often, neglected. Basically saying that we don't do any specific forearm workouts, which has a reason, and that's because in most of these exercises that we do, look, look at deadlifts, uh, look at pull-ups in general. If but also just a, a heavy dumbbell curl. Heavy dumbbell curl. Also will train your forearms. It will already train the forearms. It is almost surprising that hanging is not as celebrated as a vital workout as it should be. I definitely think hanging is an underrated exercise and also an underrated 30-day challenge or a challenge to do every single day. People talk so much about push-ups or sit-ups, but this I would 100% recommend. Just add it to your morning routine. Just get out of bed, stretch a bit, and then hang. If you feel like this could benefit you, 100% try it out. There's, there's no reason not to. Hanging every day can have a lot of positive effects on your body, but what happens to your body when you do sit-ups every single day? Check this video to find out. Subscribe to the channel and hit bell. <laughs> <laughs>